Hello, my name is Vince. This is my demo for the final report. I chose to do my demo on the binary exploitation tool GDP Peta, which allows for uh, a lot of different ways to um, discover different vulnerabilities in binaries. Um, to demonstrate it, I'm using a challenge from <coughs> Pico CTF 2022 that I solved a few weeks ago. I solved it almost exclusively using GDP. So let's just get right into it and show you the demo. First, I need to make the binary executable. Next, why don't we take a look at the source code that they provided for us. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. All right, it looks like there's a win function and a vuln function. And the only one called in the main function is vuln. And it looks like win will print the flag if you get it. So I imagine we're going to have to control the return address and change it to win. And we can find the return address and all those sorts of things using GDP. So why don't we open our binary in there. Uh, first thing I usually do in this tool is use the info functions command. This gives you an idea of wh where the functions are in the stack, the addresses and such. So uh, here's the address for the vuln function and our goal is going to be to write this address um, into the EIP register. So hopefully it'll execute the win function and print the flag for us. First thing I'm going to do is generate a pattern using the PETA extension. Uh, pattern create, let's just do 200 characters. Copy and paste that. And run. Please enter your string. All right, let's enter the string. This gives us a segmentation fault. After that, we can use pattern search to find out which part of the pattern uh, the different registers, uh, what are the value of the different registers based on the pattern we sent in. So it gives us a really easy breakdown, easy to understand at least. So it looks like the EIP starts at 44 bytes. So uh, we can send in 44 bytes and then after that, uh, ideally we can put the hexadecimal value of the win function in and then hopefully it'll print the flag for us. So why don't we quit out of here and I'm just going to make a quick uh, value and bash. Just a moment. Actually, I think I might have it saved. Alright, instead of 112, I'm just going to do... Uh, let's do 44 first to see if it gives us a segmentation fault. Echo overflow into vol. Alright, looks like 44 gives us a seg fault. Uh, it even tells us where it jumps to. So why don't we try to, after 44, um, why don't we try to add in the byte value of the win function. So when we ran info on the functions, we we're able to get the address for the win function here. And we can actually get the little Indian version of that using pwn tools.
Alright, that should be good right there. Now let's echo it in there. Oh, awesome. So, using uh, GDP, I was able to uh, print out the different functions so I could understand what the binary looked like. Uh, with the PETA extension, I could create a quick pattern, run the program with that pattern in there, and then use pattern search, uh, which is somewhere in here. Yeah, pattern search to see where the diff different offsets were. Once I knew where the uh, the EIP was at 44, I crafted a quick uh, quick little payload to fill the register up to the EIP at 44 and then at 44 I put in the byte value of the win function or the, um, the address of the win function rather and it looks like that printed the flag right there